Oldham at Hopwood Gears and Corey behind me first saw the L300 MYW machine from NCMT at Emo 2019 and now he's got a model sitting on his shop floor so Corey what was the reason behind the purchase? Well to me a lathe is a lathe there's loads of different types and varieties out there but this one was available it was a good price good value and we got a, an entire package that did the service which we need more than anything. We were so far behind with orders that we needed a lathe that was working 24 hours a day and this is what this one does. So when you're saying a lathe is a lathe, you've got different brands on the shop floor and it's really the service that you offer yeah. from NCMT. So is it the, the fact that there's a local branch nearby to you? They are local to us and uh, it was really important that the machine's working all the time. Because when the machine isn't working, it's no good to me. It might be the fanciest things that are available, but it's not working, it's no good. Before we go any further, let's go and find out more from Howard. So Howard is from NCMT and he is going to give us the specification on the Genos L300 MYW. So go ahead, Howard. Okay, so, so this machine has a, a 10 inch chuck on the main spindle. You've got a six inch chuck on the sub spindle. You've got milling, Y-axis on the turret, 12 stations, all 12 stations can be driven tools as well. Uh, you've got solid cast iron bed construction with uh, bedded and scraped slideways. As with the Genus vertical range, it's, they've got scraped slideways, hand-built machine. Um, as I say, box section guide, so you've got a very strong, solid build. You're talking about the Y-axis, so many people are opting for this. Why is that? Well, you've got a, a very capable uh, turret lathe that you, you can transfer the component over to the sub-spindle. You can do a, a lot of milling on the parts that you might want to put on a vertical machine if you've, if you've just got a, you know, a standard um, you know, two-axis lathe. So you can get you know, basic components uh, and also some complex components off the machine complete in one. So what makes this stand out then? It's, again, it's a single source machine. So you've got Akuma do their own control. You do the drives, the encoders, the motors, everything's built by Akuma. So, you, you know, you, if you've got an engineer turn up and, you know, he needs to repair the machine, you're not just going to a control manufacturer as well, he, but one guy who's going to be able to fix that machine. I guess installation's going to take a little bit longer then on a machine like this? Uh, no, not necessarily, but um, we, NCMT, we like to do things right. So, uh, you know, we make sure that the installation's done correctly, um, get the geometrics right and you know, make sure it's you know, robust and in, in position. So to summarise, what is so good about this machine? OK, well, it's got a 15 kilowatt motor. You've got 570 newton metres of torque on the spindle. You've got milling, y-axis, sub-spindle. Parts can come off complete. And Akuma have a three-year spindle warranty on all machines as standard. So you've got reliability and uh, reassurance there as well. And this is user-friendly as well? Yeah, the OSP P300 control is touchscreen. It's a user interface which is very easy to pick up and uh, what a Hopwood gear bo bought on the machine was uh, the One Touch IGF which allows you to program on the duckboard. It's conversational programming software so you can do it on the duckboard. Right then Corey, how long you had the machine and what do you think so far then? We've had the machine about two months. Uh, what I've seen so far has been fantastic. Um, it's not skip to be, it's not let us down, it's run 24 hours a day. And we're now, instead of being in a backlog position on parts, we're about a month in front at the moment. So yeah, it's doing exactly what I need it to do. And one more question, because you've got so many different brands on your shop floor, how does that work for the operator and the software? It's dead simple, it's FANUC based. So all our operators are all FANUC trained. Uh, within three or four days, we're up and running. Uh, we've now trained all of our operators to use it. So yeah, it's dead simple. So overall, what do you think of this machine? I'm really pleased with it. It's doing exactly what I need it to do. It's making parts. As long as it keeps on doing that and making money, which is what anybody wants to do, making the parts precisely, dead pleased with it.